San Diego kids have been learning remotely for a year and will have to wait another week and a half before public schools open again. But in a Fox News exclusive, we've learned the city is giving teachers the option to teach migrant children in person instead of Americans. Carl DeMaio is a San Diego area talk radio host, former city council member and chairman of Reform California, which I'm sure people are like, we got to get on that reform part. Uh, Carl, what are you hearing from uh, your constituents, your listeners, your neighbors about this idea? Oh, people are so upset about the double standard. For the past year, Dana, parents have seen their children suffer uh, and fall behind academically. Mental health problems are skyrocketing. And as schools are opened across the country, in California, they've been closed. And as these parents have pushed to get politicians to address this issue, the politicians have basically uh, sided with the teachers unions. Now we find that within hours, within hours of these migrants arriving at the San Diego Convention Center, the politicians had already arranged to have in-person instruction uh, within hours, and they didn't go through all the review processes that all the other schools in uh, California have to go through to get permission to reopen. So it is very frustrating, and the, uh, the, the citizens out here see a double standard. We have a COVID rates here of, of San Diego as of March 30th, uh, 290 new cases and a rolling date average of 2.4%. 82 kids tested positive inside a San Diego facility. Um, you know, some of the teachers have said they didn't want to get back to the classroom because of concern of COVID. What about now? Well, that's a good question. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any concern about the conditions at the convention center, and they have a 11% uh, COVID positive rate inside that convention center amongst these migrants. Uh, it's only gonna get worse, by the way, because the numbers have been going up every day. Uh, so we don't see the, the hue and the cry about COVID-19 for the migrants, but uh, for our, our own children, the children of citizens of the United States that have been waiting for a year, they continue to move the goalposts. So there's a lot of frustration. Also, it's pretty offensive to have city politicians uh, whip out the California state constitution, which provides a constitutionally protected right to all of our children for a quality education, uh, and say, well, these migrants deserve their constitutional rights since they're here in the state for a quality education. Well, gee, I guess you didn't bother to consult the Constitution for the past year that uh, students have been out of school. So there's a lot of double standard going on here, and it's causing the parents here have just lost it. They, they literally are at their last the rope with, with the, 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 with the politicians. Carl, let me also ask you about the other big issue that's going on in California. That is, there's an, a recall effort to recall Governor Newsom. Here's a gov a governor, former Governor Schwarzenegger telling Politico that this is the crazy thing here. When they say it's a power grab of the Republicans, let me tell you, the California Republicans couldn't even get anyone elected. It's ludicrous. The Republican Party doesn't exist. These are the signatures of the ordinary folks that have signed on, and apparently right now we have this poll. Four in ten support the Newsom recall. Uh, maybe a quick thought on how you think that this is going to go in the next few weeks. Dana, I have never seen a movement like what's going on with the recall. It's very diverse. We've got Bernie Sanders supporting unemployed waiters and waitresses, joining with Democrat moms and dads, and of course, independents and Republicans to uh, push back against Governor Newsom's failures. His failures have been that bad that they've affected so many people irrespective of background or political ideology. I, I predict what's going to happen is that this, this recall is going to be a lot closer than the polls uh, suggest uh, because the people who are angry with Go Governor Gavin Newsom are more motivated to show up and, and more motivated to drag their friends to vote yes on recall. So All right. I think this will be one of the big political stories of 2021. It will. We will watch it. It's good to see you again, Carl. Thank you. Thanks, Dana.